Good morning guys and happy Saturday to all of our sunshiny faces. I thought it was Sunday because you know there's <laughs> yesterday. It's Friday but it really felt like a Saturday. Um, so anyways guys I did I ran out to sorry my hair is also kind of I just like threw it up. I don't even know what it is going on up there <laughs> um but i ran to walgreens today i did a quick little deal um like it took us longer to actually my dad well i think i was telling you guys in yesterday's vlog my mom went with my aunt to they're gonna go i think to like to a funeral home um to go set up arrangements for my uncle um and so uh she took like our you know like our main car um and so we have matthew's you know little car and um <laughs> we spent longer time in the parking lot trying to find a mask in the car um luckily we actually ended up finding my dad one because he forgot to get his and normally he keeps one like in the pocket of the door you know we always have like a couple extras in there just in case somebody forgot theirs um and so i had mine on and my dad forgot normally he has like a gator um and him and jack and matthew just spent the entire morning like what seemed like a very long time shoveling the driveway um and so first so that my mom could get out of the driveway so she could leave because she had to be there at like i think she had to leave at like seven or maybe eight o'clock or something like that she had to be there by eight or nine or something so anyways yeah she was out early but um it took us honestly like maybe five minutes actually in walgreens um and then ended up taking us like 10 minutes to, try to find a mask out in the car luckily we found one mask that was actually out there um but it was in the back seat so we're looking like all the pockets and everything like that and the door and all that kind of stuff so anyways though um yeah so walgreens we ran in i got four items um three different things because i grabbed two of the same thing um but everything ended up working out my cashier was also really nice and sweet too because at first she was like um, the total came to like $11 or something like that. And I was like, oh, my coupons didn't work at first was what I was thinking. And then she like hit like a button and she had asked, she said like, oh, your total is going to be 11 something. And I was like, oh, the coupons must have not worked because I was expecting to pay around like seven, eight bucks or something like that. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then she was like, okay, so it looks like you have a $2, $1 and a $1 off coupon. Um, and I was like, and, uh, you know, cause my dad was like paying and everything like that. And he was like, oh yeah, that sounds right. Sure. He was saying like, oh, normally she does, you know, handles the couponing stuff or whatever. And then, uh, but she was like, oh, I just like to make sure that, you know, everybody's coupons are coming off and stuff like that. And she's like, that sounds right and stuff. And I was like, yeah, it does. You know, so she was really sweet. So anyways, guys, I'll share with you my real quick haul. Obviously, these deals are over actually today. So um, they still have plenty at my store. So um, but they end today. Um, we just ended up we were maybe going to go yesterday, but there's no way I'll have this vlog edited before the sales are over. I just thought that I'd share with you guys. I have not done a Walgreens haul in forever. And I thought that these were a couple of not great sales or great deals or anything like that, you know, like nothing super extreme, but they were a couple things that we sort of needed anyway. So I was like, hey, Walgreens doesn't have that bad a deal. So I'll go ahead and pick some of this stuff up. So for these four items here, minus the cookies that are in the background right now, <laughs> um, for these four items at Walgreens would have cost $17.98. Um, after all my coupons and the sales and everything, it cost $6.98. And I ended up saving $11 between just the sales and coupons. I got back $1.40. I'll explain to you guys how that sort of, you know, figured out. So actually, I ended up spending only $5.58 for these four items. So I thought that, that worked out to, like I said, be a pretty good deal. So the deal with the Irish Spring, like, body wash, this was... $3.99 um, and there was a $2 off coupons. This was $1.99. Again, not the best price. Like sometimes we can get this cheaper, but um, it wasn't bad because men's body wash, we go through really, really quickly um, and we don't have like a real stockpile of it anymore like women's body wash. We do. Um, so we went ahead and picked that up. Also to fabric softener, which is just a small, you know, little bottle, but um, it was just like the 40 loads. Um, but we are on our last bottle fabric softener so i was like even if this holds us over till we get a better deal or something like that it's not that bad um it is uh 2.99 on sale and there's a dollar off coupons this was a dollar 99 as well <clears throat> 
and then with the special K cereal, which in, you know, January and all that kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, special K, you know, um, five or one, all of the kind of, you know, like health food sort of, those sort of deals are always going on sale in January because New Year's resolutions and, you know, um, all that kind of stuff. So eating healthier and everything. Um, but the special K was on sale for $4 for two um, and then there was a dollar off of two coupons so that takes it down to three dollars for two and then there's also um, on Ibotta there's 60 cents back on the special K um, cereals any type of cereals so that ends up being uh, just 90 cents each. So that's a really good deal for cereal. Um, the only other thing is, is that there is a, um, a dollar off of one box on the blueberry kind. Now they had blueberry at my store, but it was a blueberry and lemon. And it didn't say like new on the box because that's what, you know, they normally offer the higher value coupons on like the new products and stuff like that to get people to try it out and everything. And since it wasn't just strictly the blueberry kind, I didn't totally know if that was gonna be also available in the sale and I know that my parents really like the the um, both of them really like the you know just the red berry kind um, and so I didn't want to get the blueberry kind if you know it ends up where they didn't like it and it also wasn't actually part of that specific you know deal through Ibotta so that's why I was like I'll just stick with what I know so if that does wind up working though or you know again the stores have that blueberry kind that is included with that it ends up being only 50 cents a box so that's also a really good deal so um that was how I got the dollar 20 back um, also there was a uh, 10 cents back on just any re receipt from Ibotta and then also to um, Walgreens switched their accounts now or their you know their program instead of balance rewards is now the my Walgreens rewards um, and so instead of points which was pretty much you know just it was just sort of a confusing conversion that you had to do um, but they offer is pretty much seems like it's offering this exact same stuff um, but instead of it being points where like where a hundred points is technically like 10 cents or whatever I think it is um, and a thousand points was like a dollar I think was how it worked out um, <laughs> so instead of that having to do that conversion again I haven't even done balance rewards in a while so I can't remember exactly what it was um, but that was pretty much how theirs worked before now they just actually tell you like like on mine it says on there that I earned 10 cents today <laughs> so instead of just saying like 100 balance points or whatever it just says 10 cents on there um so that was the other 10 cents you earn like a penny or something like that I think it is or something close to it for every like dollar spent or something um I think that that might actually be pre-coupon perhaps or possibly I don't know um because I only spent seven dollars and 61 cents after tax I think it was um and so that doesn't even make sense like it only should have been seven points um but then to pre-coupon was 11 something so it should have been 11 cents then that I get back because I think you earn like one percent back on every you know purchase or whatever so that also came back with 10 cents as well sort of on you know all the items and everything so that was my little my little haul from Walgreens guys I'm kind of excited I kind of like I was telling you guys too I was like oh I kind of want to share like my hauls again on my couponing channel and everything like that and so I've been really thinking about doing it and today kind of inspired me a little bit um I don't know what Walgreens we're gonna wind up shopping at you know and everything like that but the cashier we had today was really nice I want to try and go on Sundays like that would be really cool if we could get to you know do Walgreens on Sunday just because that's the actual first day of the sale um but I really like doing these you know like they're um they're loadable digital coupons I really like shopping at stores that have that and offer that um <clears throat> especially like the drug stores and the dollar stores too, like um, Family Dollar and Dollar General and Walgreens. And I think CVS does it too, but I think there's still a huge focus on their extra care, you know, rewards and stuff like that. And so like for me, like if I just earn the points and it's kind of sitting in an account, I don't have to worry about it expiring because they don't expire for a whole year, you know, and there's a couple of weeks where maybe I'm not in the stores or there aren't great deals or whatever, I can pass up on going to them or we just can't get there or whatever, you know, real life stuff happens and everything. And so um, that's why I really like the Walgreens stuff. Like I can still do just a couple little deals and it doesn't have to to be this huge elaborate thing that I had to come up with in this huge scenario and everything it can be like oh we needed fabric softener good Walgreens got it I can go run in there and grab some the same with like 
dollar dollar general and family dollar too like i've done that at family dollar like oh they have this thing on sale okay i'll just clip their coupon run in there and grab it you know um and if it's especially something that we need and so i like that they're you know like i said the walgreens plus two walgreens has their you know their points too so like next week it seems like they have a couple more like actual point deals where like oh you get like four dollars back in points when you you know buy such and such products and stuff like that um so like i said that is kind of my draw to walgreens a little bit cvs like i said is still uh, very focused on that and not that i don't you know like i really like that but sometimes too it's just for the simplistic aspect of doing it and i don't have to worry about it because like i've stopped in at like family dollar a couple times but like i don't go consistently every single week um you know and so if it was like with cvs i'd have to be like oh shoot my you know my rewards are expiring or something like that like i have to use them up now um even if there wasn't a good week to use them up on or to roll them or whatever like you know i can kind of chill with Walgreens and do it sort of whenever I want to and again the same with like Family Dollar and Dollar General and I know that they both offer also like normally like sometimes five off of 20 or five off 25 or whatever it is too which is normally a really big draw and incentive and stuff like that to get people to the stores but I don't even mind just going and being like hey here was like you know a good deal on laundry detergent or here was a good deal on you know again body wash or hair wash or what is that called shampoo <laughs> um you know that kind of stuff like just little things that sometimes i can pop in there and go and do as well um so yeah that's why like i said i i really like again <laughs> simplistic aspect of it i know that it's not always great for really super amazing couponing deals and stuff like that but um you know like obviously a lot of times we can get body wash for a dollar or fabric softener or you know cereal i thought was a good deal under a buck um but again there's some other things too sometimes where it's like oh i really you know like that's something that maybe isn't the best deal but i'm only getting one probably because of doing their mobile coupons and everything like that where i just clip and run into the store i'm not buying like eight of them or whatever so like if i just do like you know spend a dollar on I spend two dollars on body wash twice a month or something like that you know like it's not a huge huge big thing um if i can get it ever for a dollar you know that would be awesome but it's like also sort of that time saving sanity saving thing like i don't want to waste too much time doing all of the all the dogs are coming down the stairs guys and now it's loud um you know like wasting all of that time doing those so many of those deals and stuff like that um and coming up with again a whole scenario for all this stuff that's going on at cvs or whatever um whereas i can just sort of stop in at walgreens but it looks like and i'm not going to say like oh now that their new rewards program and their new system that they have installed um or that they're using and stuff like that is like oh like you know amazing but it looks like next week actually has some pretty good stuff going on like a couple different things plus they still have the register rewards programs while it's super super less than like what it used to be but it still again seems very much like you know again pretty pretty good deals um and especially next week so i don't know too if like you know walgreens was just kind of not the place to coupon for a while you know it's like oh maybe there's an okay deal here or there or whatever but it wasn't that great next week actually and i don't know how it will be going forward but it does look like they have you know like compared to cvs like they they used to back in my day couponing they used to rival cvs i felt like um just with the register awards program and i know of course it's sort of preference and like what you sort of got into if you were like oh cvs seems cvs seems simpler back in the day but walgreens was a little bit more confusing but walgreens like you could stink and get tables full of stuff it seemed like really cheap um and then when they changed over to the balance reward system it seemed like there was like sort of nothing going on at walgreens and so i'm almost wondering if that's sort of the thing too and they're like hey let's change this let's try and incent people a little bit more to get back into the stores and stuff like that because i don't think that they were doing that hot you know as being like the hot couponing place to go um so again not that my deals were very awesome or anything like that but it just seems like you know maybe they're moving a little bit more in that direction um to kind of like i said rival and compete with cvs again um but you know and i don't have a rite aid around here either so that's why i can't do any of those deals but um you know rite aid is also kind of i don't know though because i haven't like paid attention to that stuff really all that much recently obviously i don't get the ads i don't know how hot rite aid's couponing deals are 
you know, or have been recently, but I don't mind my, like I said, my little, little um, Walgreens haul for like five fifty, pretty much. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I real quick gotta go get, get this stuff put away. I don't even know what the agenda looks like for the rest of the day today. I don't know how long my mom's gonna be gone. Um, I don't, you know, like I said, everybody in the house is actually up before me because they were all shoveling the driveways and my mom left and stuff like that so um i was actually the last person awake in the house which is normally like almost hardly ever happens like normally my mom and dad might be up before me sometimes um but like, matthew and jack are never awake before i am and they both were and i was like this is weird i feel like i missed like i slept until noon and it's only like almost 11 o'clock now <laughs> um i slept until like maybe about eight nine o'clock or something like that honestly though because they were shoveling in the driveway and it's right outside my window i heard it since 7 a.m and pretty much been up i haven't actually been able to fall like felt i never fell back asleep um but i was just like <laughs> hoping that i would because i think i went to bed maybe around like one o'clock so if i slept until at least seven i got like six hours of sleep which was better than the four hours of sleep i got the night before so yeah guys that is again just my little haul, I guess, to share with you guys. And again, nothing else much going on. So I don't know if this is <laughs> pretty much gonna be today's vlog, is just sharing with you guys my little Walgreens haul. But tomorrow we will go to see, uh, to Aldi and to Jewel for a second time um, and go and grab those deals that are going on there. And then um, I can share with you guys that haul for tomorrow. But Walgreens, again, because my mom had the big car that we normally can put, fit all the groceries in. Matthew's got all kinds of stuff in the back seat his car too so we couldn't even fit groceries in there if we wanted to um so that's why too we're just gonna wait till tomorrow when we can go early in the morning and actually have my mom's um you know she'll be back so we can use the car so guys i am gonna go take a shower and get to bed actually it is still early it is only 11 like 11 15 i think maybe 11 30 um which is normally like i want to I try to be in the shower by 10 30 or 11 o'clock if my showers end up being quick then it's not that bad like I always my goal is always to be in bed by midnight and then if I don't fall asleep for like a half an hour an hour then it's not that bad um but if I can be in bed earlier like again take a shower at like 10 30 and then be in bed by 11 30 um you know just because gathering up all of my things and again sometimes I wind up forgetting stuff um or forgetting to do like a last minute thing like oh I have to get the laundry in the dryer or something like that so that's why normally in total you know I don't take an hour long shower between that and kind of doing all the other little last minute touch up things that I have to do before I go to bed um it's normally winds up being like about an hour that's why at 10 30 I want to try and like get going to take a shower because again I know it's always going to be like oh I have to go finish this or do that or whatever so I can be in bed by about 11 30 and like asleep by midnight um or like 12 30 at the latest but sometimes nights like I said if it if it takes me a while to fall asleep like sometimes if I'm really tired like honestly I might be really tired tonight just because I got four hours of sleep two nights ago last night I got six hours of sleep which isn't that bad but um you know I might be tired enough where as soon as my head hits the pillow I'm asleep um so you know if I'm in bed by midnight probably asleep at like 12.05 um a lot of times so like I said it just sort of depends but um I didn't end up getting to too much else today really I did dishes and that was sort of it for today <laughs> like I said I didn't get to that much I didn't get to probably as much as I wanted to today I wasn't up super 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 early today either like every Everybody else like Matthew and Jack and my dad like I said they were all outside shoveling the snow at seven o'clock this morning so um you know I was up obviously like I said up kind of later compared to them and so anyways guys I'm going to take a shower and get to bed again I will let you guys know about tomorrow's grocery haul um and then like I said to maybe update you guys as to what's going on with the rest of the haul stuff too but anyways I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see y'all some shiny faces tomorrow so bye guys